Welcome back everyone to Assassin's Creed 3. This is Fusion Cap, and I've had some problems with my computer, so I'm just replaying this part. I've made it back. We're gonna climb the mast. A quick reminder, if you're new to this, I am doing a giveaway of Assassin's Creed 3 Collector's Editions in consoles, and to enter that, you just have to leave comments on my Assassin's Creed 3 videos and subscribe to the channel, and you are entered to win. I wanna thank everyone for your support. Let's keep it going. This game is amazing. Truly, truly love Assassin's Creed intros. They're awesome. We're in Boston though, guys. That means we're gonna be able to free roam an entire city. This is exciting. Master Kenway. Master Kenway. Yes, may I help you? Charles Lee, sir. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. I've been asked to introduce you to the city, help you settle it. Oh, no need, sir. I've arranged for your bags to be delivered to the inn. Are you by any chance John and Isabella's son? One and the same. Your commission is with Edward Braddock, is it not? Aye. But he's yet to reach America, and I figured I might... Well... At least until he arrives, I thought. Yes? Out with it? Forgive me, sir. I had... I had hoped that I might study under you. If I am to serve the Order, I can imagine no better mentor than yourself. Kind of you to Bloody say. Hell. But I think you overestimate me. Impossible, sir. This way. Please! Someone stop him! We can't stop that guy. That's a scripted event. I've tried so many times, but all I can do is run into him. I can't grab him or anything kind of sucks. I want to stop him, you know? He's Boston's a thief. quite a lively city. There's all manner of things to see and do. Once you've settled in, I suggest you take some time to walk the streets. Who knows what opportunities you might discover? Hold a moment. I need to fetch a few things before we get to work. I'll arrange for a horse while you do that. Okay, so I'm going to go over a few things now that we are in Boston. Isn't it... Honestly, isn't it incredible? Just like, I know you guys haven't seen much, but there's dogs, the way the people behave, they're standing in line doing something. Let's take a look at the world map, because maps matter in Assassin's Creed, and you can see that everything's fogged out, and of course that's because we haven't climbed any buildings and synchronized, so everything's foggy and the map's generally useless. The British soldiers, the Redcoats, are our main foe, but right now they're also our allies. I mean, we are British. We're not fighting a revolution or anything. In fact, if you saw the date, 1754, the revolution's not going on yet. The Boston Massacre, the Boston Tea Party, none of that's happened. So the main conflict is between the French and the British, and we side with, with the British. I mean, we are British ourselves, so they're not really a foe, although they are the only people that we can kill. Not right now, because we don't have... A sword. I guess we can kill them because we have our hidden blade, but we don't have a sword or a flintlock pistol, and that's what we're going to be going to get at the general store. These are the markets, and the thing about the markets is you can buy things. You can also just pick things up, like this musket. I'm not a big fan of the weapons, okay, and I'm not a big fan of these orphans either, because they function as the people that slow you down, and they're awful children. <laughs> um... But you can buy, so you can buy things at these markets. The interesting thing is the markets also sold slaves, and I'm not entirely sure how they're going to deal with slavery in this game, if at all, because it is a really sensitive issue. I wonder if we're going to see... There's the pig. I was hoping we'd see the pig, because there's pigs. What the hell is going on over there? Um, so yeah, there's pigs that walk down the street. It's, oh, it's so cool. Oh, I can pet him. I didn't even realize that. I can feed him. He's not going to become my pet, though. So, that's too bad. 
Uh, we're gonna go to the general store and we're gonna meet Benjamin Franklin, which is gonna be awesome. But first, there's this game. This is the game that I was talking about, the Six, Six Men's Morris, I think it's called. I hate this game. I played it so many times and I never win. I don't even lose. It just ends up in kind of a draw that goes on forever. Damn, Spriggs. This accursed city will be the death of me. You seem troubled, friend. That's because I am. Greatly so, in fact. What's happened? I was robbed. The old Balkan file. And though I've managed to restore what's mine, I fear it's ruined. You mean the book? This is no ordinary book. It's an almanac. The first I ever wrote. <clears throat> Benjamin Franklin. Pleased to meet you. Haytham Kenway. You must be new to Boston. Why do you say that? You're still possessed of virtue. <laughs> to stop and help an old lout like myself. I... I don't mean to impose, but... You seem a spry fellow. Should you happen to find my missing pages, I'll reward you. Look, I'm not sure if I... It's all right, all right. If you have the time, hurrah! If not, no harm done. The thing is useless in its current state anyway. But, should you somehow manage to restore it, you'll find me inside that general store over there. Well, that was interesting. That is Benjamin Franklin in the game. When I first saw him, I had the same reaction that I had when I saw Leonardo da Vinci. Um, I love history, and Benjamin Franklin's just an amazing character in this game from what I've seen of him. Might not seem exactly that way right now. I mean, he seemed, he's still awesome, but some of the conversations later in this game are just incredible with that man. Um, oh, and his almanac... Let's we'll start this mission. Um, his almanac... Ooh, what's this over here? I'm getting distracted. Huh. I guess I can go in that way to the same general store. But his almanac, there's pages that are flying around the city that we have to find. Or we don't have to find them. Like you said, we can or we can't. If I see them, I will find them. And if, you can also find them on the map. Again, we can't do that right now because the map's useless to us because we haven't synchronized. But we will. they will show up on the world map and you can find them. I gotta pet this cat. Come on. You will love me. So cute. Um, so let's go into this general store. Oh, before I go into the general store, actually, um, that guy that I just got the mission from, that is a courier mission. And this, this guy is part of a group, um, and they basically deliver letters to people that aren't well informed, because, right, there's no TV at the time, so people get their information through letters. And when we take the courier missions, obviously, we're delivering letters. So I just accepted a mission to deliver letters to people throughout Boston. But let's go in the store. Let's get a flintlock pistol and a normal sword. Actually, we're going to go... What is this? Why is this glowing? To business. Huh. Uh, we can't sell anything because we don't have anything to sell. But we can buy the flintlock pistol which I'm not a big fan of because I'm not a big fan of the weapons in this game. Remember, this is old times and weapons take forever to reload. The flintlock pistol is not the best at long range. It won't be like a one hit kill at, at, sh at long range, but it is a pretty good short range weapon for what it's worth. I won't be using it that much in this game, um, but we do need a normal sword. That is relevant. Now that we have that, we can move on. Those are the only things that we can buy right now, as you saw. Um, so, yeah. The other thing is... Presently, it says follow Lee to the, the Green Dragon Tavern. We cannot explore the city at this point. I'm actually gonna... Can I go through this door anymore? No, why? What happened? I don't get it. Is it just because it's closed? This is... Fanel Hall. Um, it's relevant to the revolutionary period. Right now it just serves as like a place for farmers and stuff, but it will be used as a meeting place for the revolutionaries getting together, that kind of thing, and for people to protest as well. But we can't go and see anything. It actually, they said, um, 
We ride for the Green Dragon Tavern. That'll have to wait. The proprietors are eccentric, but the rooms are spacious and they do not pry. Have you been told why it is I've come to Boston? No. Master Birch said I should know only as much as you saw fit to share. He sent me a list of names and bade me ensure you could find them. And have you had any luck with that? Aye. William Johnson waits for us at the Green Dragon. How well do you know him? Not well, but he saw the order's mark and did not hesitate to come. Prove yourself loyal to our cause, and you may yet know our plans as well. I should like nothing more, sir. These people getting in my way. So you saw there this the letters of correspondence. Um the mission that we took, those we would drop those letters off. But we can't stray from Charles Lee. Charles Lee Charles Lee is not the most trusted of fellows. In fact, he's he's not he just serves kind of as our guide and our friend. The Green Dragon Tavern. This is where we are meeting with our fellow members and where we will build up our our brotherhood at this point we can go anywhere we want throughout the game well throughout boston we are no longer tied to charles lee he's gonna just sit there and wait for us if we want to this green dragon tavern um is taken over by the freemasons the freemasons actually will buy it out but they leave that green dragon there so it's not exactly oh <gasps> now's my chance i just saw this Come on, go get it. Get up, run. That's the almanac page. We've got this, I think. Or did it disappear? I can't tell. It, it vanished from the map. Damn it. I thought I had it. We'll have to find it later. But the, the tavern's used as a place for the Patriots. That's what I'll call them right now. Um, basically, our members to meet up and discuss things, but it will definitely be used as a center place for for business because taverns were used for business m meetings and alcohol too. But it was it was a real place to meet for meetings. Let's go inside. Let's move forward and meet William Johnson. You lying. Cheating, no good, son of a bitch. Perhaps we've come at a bad time. Oh, don't be foolish, dearies. Please, sit. Fancy something to eat? A drink, perhaps? Or is it a bed you require? We've already let rooms here. Uh, oh, yes. Uh, of course. Masters Lee and Kenway, uh, was it? Uh, I'll have your bags brought up. Do you require anything further? Only privacy. Upstairs to go see William Johnson. I think those two are incestuous. I think they're related and they're lovers. I could be wrong, though. I think that's what the Animus was alluding to. Sir, William Johnson. A pleasure. A good lad, if a bit earnest. I'm told you're putting together an expedition. We believe there's a precursor site in the region. I require your knowledge of the land and its people to find it. Sadly, my research has been stolen. Without it, I'm of no use to you. Then we'll find it. Do you have any leads? My associate, Thomas Hickey, has been making the rounds. He's quite good at loosening tongues. Well, tell me where I can find him. I'll see if I can't speed things up. We've heard rumors of bandits operating from a compound southwest of here. You'll likely find him there. Charles? Sir. We'd best be off. Of course. We're going to learn a little bit more about William Johnson. He's going to tell us a lot about his past, his history with, with Indians and growing up. Tell me about there. yourself, William. What's to tell? I was born in Ireland to Catholic parents, which I learned early in life severely limited my opportunities. So I converted to Protestantism and journeyed here at the behest of my uncle. 
But I fear my Uncle Peter was not the swiftest of men. He sought to open trade with the Kanyan Gahaga, but chose to build his settlement away from the trade routes instead of on them. I tried to reason with the man, but... <sighs> as I said, not the swiftest. So, I took what little money I'd earned and bought my own little plot of land. I built a home, a farm, a store, and a mill. Humble beginnings, but well situated, which made all the difference. So this is how you came to know the Mohawk? Indeed. And it has proved a valuable relationship. With still no mention from your contacts of the precursor site? No hidden temple or ancient constructs? Yes and no. Which is to say, they have their fair share of sacred sites. Earthen moons, forest clearings, hidden caves. But nothing matching what you describe. No strange metals. No odd glows. Hmm. It is well hidden. Even to them, it seems. But cheer up, my friend. You'll have your precursor treasure. I swear it. To our success, then. And soon. Should not be much longer. So, he has a big future in front of him. Because he's such good friends with the Iroquois and the Indian tribes in the area, the Native American tribes in the area, um, he has a place in government in the future. Let me get through here, Charles. Okay. We're gonna go see Thomas Hickey, who is Sir William Johnston's guard. He's not exactly happy with his position in life, and he would like to move on. I think, though, we're gonna come up to the end of this video, because I'm not gonna include Thomas's mission... I gotta keep things short because of my computer failures. Yeah, so there's Thomas Hickey over there. We're gonna meet up with them, invade a fort, but that'll be the next episode. Again, I hope you guys are enjoying it. I hope that I can be a little bit insightful and look forward to future parts. Your guys' support means a lot to me. I'm gonna be putting out videos a lot quicker, hopefully, as long as my computer bears with me. Cross your fingers. I'll see you guys next time.